Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy A T. Now, hey, bro. Today we are back with yet another food review. You feel me? Um, Wendy's. Well, first of all, before we even get into that, we just did a react. I said a reaction, a food review to Popeyes' new Cajun flounder fish sandwich. If y'all haven't seen that, I'll drop a link up there. Definitely be sure to go check that out. Um, but Wendy's just dropped off a new panko fish sandwich. Supposedly, it's made with Alaska pollock as far as the, the actual type of fish. Um, now this actually went nationwide, I believe today on February 15th. Um, I didn't know anything about it. I actually saw one of the food review channels. Um, let me shout them out, Mel's and Chris. I actually got almost 10,000 subscribers, but they were the first ones I've seen. They're actually the only ones I've seen that's done the review for this fish sandwich so far. Um, but hey, I'm about to go check it out, you feel me? I, I just did a react, like I said, we just did a food review to Popeye's new fl Cajun flounder sandwich. That to me was okay. I feel like if I would have ate it when it was like hot, hot, where you get that like crisp bite to it and all that, would have been a little bit better. Like it wasn't bad, but it was just okay to me. You feel me? It wasn't too, too crazy. I know it's a lot of people saying that they definitely mess with that Popeye's flounder sandwich. Like that's a, a pretty good fish sandwich in their opinion. Which is not bad, bad at all to me. But like I said, I didn't get to eat it when it was like fresh out the daggone grease where it's still crispy and all that, you feel me? So that was bad on my part. But either way, bro, we about to try this one out today. Um, now, as far as the description, it says, just like the brand's now discontinued classic cod sandwich, the new crispy panko fish sandwich features creamy dill tartar sauce, lettuce, and dill pickles but with a new wild caught Alaskan Pollock filet fried up in a crunchy panko breading and topped with a slice of cheese. They're saying it's supposedly 419. I, I think I saw on the re, on the review, I saw on Mel's and Chris uh, food r review channel, it was like 499. But either way, y'all gonna see when we get up to Wendy's, I'm about to head up there now. Was gonna order it on their app, but it's not on their app yet. The same way that Popeye's Cajun flounder sandwich wasn't on there after the day that I went to go order it. So maybe it's gonna take a couple days for him to update it and all that. But either way, bro, I'm doing a little bit too much talking. Um, time stamps are down there in the description if y'all just wanna skip on up to the food review itself. But hey, man, I'll catch y'all probably when we get to Wendy's. I'll show y'all a little bit just of the ordering process and then we'll get back to the crib to try it out. Catch y'all in a second. All right, y'all, look like they do got that panko. Come and help you, thank you, Uh, yes ma'am, could I get the, uh, the crispy panko sandwich? Or the, the fish sandwich? I'm sorry? Could I get the, uh, crispy panko fish sandwich? Okay, just, just a sandwich or the combo? Uh, just a sandwich. Okay, what else can I get for you? That'll be all. Okay, 478, thank you. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Alright, coach, we made it up. Hold on, bruh. It's a little bright, ain't it? Let me get y'all right. You done made it to the crib, you feel me? We got the Wendy's right here. I ain't getting nothing but the sandwich. I ain't, I ain't mess around, get no fries, no nuggets, nothing like that. We here for the sandwich, you feel me? As y'all can see right there, they got the little sticker. Let me get y'all right. Wild caught Alaskan fish. Now I'll be honest, this mess came, I ordered it, pulled around, paid for it. It was like they took my card to a pay for it and it was coming out as she was handing me my card back. So she handed me the card and the food at the same time. It took literally maybe a minute. So I would assume they already had this up. I'm hoping it's still as crispy as it need to be, you feel me? But um, either way, bro, let's see what it's talking about. Got the little sticker there. These are our first impressions. What y'all think? What y'all think, bruh? Cheese? I don't normally eat cheese on a damn fish sandwich. I know a lot of people do like cheese on theirs. As y'all see, we got the cheese kind of hanging out. So it came with lettuce. I don't remember it saying lettuce in the description, but maybe it did. But lettuce, you got your cheese up underneath, right there, your fish, of course. And on this bun, you got your pickles. 
three hefty pickles on there. That tartar sauce looked like it got some good, good little speckles of seasoning up in there or something. Bottom, nothing at all. We just got a bun and the bottom of the sandwich. Either way, bruh, let's see what it's talking about. Actually, let's say our grace first, bruh. If you're eating with me, bow your heads. Tell me, we gotta say the grace, coach. I see what he's talking about. Child thing, bro. Child thing. It's kind of. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie to you. This is. Hold on. Let me take one more bite, bro. But for all the guys out there with a beer. When you eat with a beer, bro, everything gets in it. Everything. But either way, this is a pretty good fish sandwich. Now, they didn't give me a receipt, but I, but they told me it was $4.78 for the sandwich after tax. <clears throat> um, so, obviously, it's still that $4.19 price, just with your tax wherever you at. But, yeah, bro, this is a, it's a pretty good... It's like, it's flavor on that fish itself, but it's not like nothing that's just jumping out at you, you feel me? Now for me personally, first of all, I've never had Wendy's fish sandwich ever. I haven't had their cod, I've never tried a Wendy's fish sandwich. So this is my first time trying any fish sandwich for Wendy's at all. It's pretty good. Would I buy this myself again? No. <clears throat> but that's just me, you feel me? I wouldn't get a fish sandwich. Like, the only place I would really buy a fish sandwich from on a regular basis is like Captain D's or something. But even Captain D's, I haven't bought a fish sandwich from them in years because they, because they, it was, it used to be a big old piece of fish that they put on there and then they shrunk it, shrunk it some more, you feel me? So it's like, I don't normally find myself buying fish sandwiches from anywhere. Um, unless it's like one of those like local places basically, like not a nationwide kind of place like Wendy's or McDonald's or Popeye's even. Like for Popeye's sandwich, I said, ah, it was okay, but I do wish I could have had it more fresh, kind of how this one is, to at least get that full taste of it, you feel me? The like full effect of it and not have it a little bit soggy and stuff like that. This one here is definitely still crispy, for sure. Tastes like if you use, maybe they could put a little bit of tartar on this bottom bun, you feel me? This bottom bun could for sure use some more tartar. Cause it's, it, I mean, it's not dry, but it could just be a little more there to like help it go down, you feel me? It's not, it's not dry, but it's, it could use a little more. A little more tar on there. The the uh, cheese itself, I'll be honest, I barely even taste it. Like it's it's obviously there, we can see it, but to me, for the actual cheese, you don't you don't really even taste it too too much. At least for me, you feel me? I don't go my bag. You feel me? I know it. That ain't good manners. Yeah. So for sure could use a little bit more tartar on it 
the pickles definitely add a little something to it with that bite. That's similar to what it did for me on the uh, the Popeyes flounder, the, the uh, Cajun flounder sandwich. Those pickles on there just added a little something extra to it. You feel me? But I don't really got too much else to say. I do like it though, bruh. I do like it, but I don't see myself ordering another one of these. But like I said, that's just me personally. Because <clears throat> I don't really get fish sandwiches like that from a fast food place. I'd rather go with a burger, chicken sandwich maybe, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. The fish to me is like, it's okay, but I don't really go for a fish sandwich when I'm going to a fast food place. And let's see, a restaurant like a like actual restaurant, like a sit down type of thing, or one of the local spots that might have like a, a fish uh, Philly type thing or something like that, you feel me? Like I would try something like that out, but I don't see myself necessarily ordering it, but I can see somebody who likes a fish sandwich ordering this like for their lunch, maybe once a week or something like that, you feel me? Like it's got some, some good flavor to it. Like I said, all I would need is a little extra tartar on this and it would be almost perfect. That's our review to the Popeye's Cajun Flounder and Crispy Cajun Shrimp. I'll be sure to go check that out. But yeah, man, I ain't really got too much else to say. Like I said, it's a good sandwich. Would I say this is better than a Popeye's one? Overall, as a sandwich, I would have to say yes. But like I said, I didn't get to eat that Popeye's one while it was like fresh, fresh. I mean, it was like maybe 20 minutes after I had ordered, so it wasn't as fresh as it could have been. What do you want? No, I'm doing something. You got beating down the block to get it. That's my nephew, bro. But either way, if I would have tried that Popeye's one fresh, maybe I would have had a little bit of a different thoughts about it. You feel me? But it is what it is. As far as the one I, the Popeye sandwich I tasted. Versus this one, I would go with this one just overall as a sandwich. The fish itself, I would say probably had a little bit more flavor for the Popeyes one, you feel me? Even though it still wasn't too, too crazy as far as the flavor on that Cajun flounder one. I would still say it probably had a little bit, a little bit more of a like seasoned taste to it. But I still like this one, you feel me? Like that's still a good sandwich, bro. But hey, that's just my thoughts on it. Y'all get down there in the comments, let me know what y'all thought about the review. If you've already tried this sandwich out, get down there in the comments, let me know what you think about it. If you haven't tried it, let me know if you're gonna check it out. You feel me? Um, and do y'all wanna see a Popeyes versus Wendy's fish sandwich video, baby? Like a little versus video, you feel me? If y'all wanna see that, I might come with that later this week. Um, of course, we know McDonald's got their fish sandwich. A couple other fast food places have theirs as well, but these are the two newest fish sandwiches, Wendy's and Popeye's. So if y'all want to see me do a little head-to-head -head kind of battle, just get down there in the com in the comments and let your boy know. But hey, bro, I, I ain't got too much else to say about it. Um, we on the road to 20K subscribers, a team. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going, keep it growing. Like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video. I got a box. It came with a box. I need a box. To sit to the spot. Your trapping is froze. And I'm getting hot. I'm having all the O's looking like N and I.